Okay, so the reason I talk about sauna and hydration and lymph drainage and nutrient-dense foods, organic produce, fruits and vegetables, is because I also talk about lead and mercury, chemicals, pesticides that end up in our food, air and water that we may or may not know are there. So the whole goal is awareness and increasing the education around what we're exposed to while also arming ourselves with what we need to defend ourselves. If we are too often for too long losing the battle between pro-oxidants, chemicals, pesticides, and metals, versus antioxidant nutrients that show up in a healthy diet, if we're losing that battle, then we're injuring our own tissues. So for me, the core issue is I never want your diet or your child's diet to be a source of chemicals over nutrients because our greatest defense against those chemical exposures besides avoiding them as best we can and look it doesn't have to be perfect is and are nutrients uh, vitamin c glutathione b vitamins that sort of thing <clears throat> so working with a practitioner that can help guide you through that process in terms of what to avoid how to avoid it but also what to choose how to choose it and in what dose when it comes to nutrients can be vital for maintaining good health